so I'm back. Let me crack this open. Urgent. The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel must evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged security. <laughs> Sorry. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA, 3 hours, 17 minutes. Visitor is logged into the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Hello, is anyone there? I just remembered something. I forgot to change the title on Twitch. Uh, uh, well, not the title, but... Uh... There we go, I gotta change the game on Twitch. Change category. We've changed it. It's fixed. Hello, is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? Salad. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, what kind of salad? Is it all veggies? Is it fruit? Or uh, is there like meat with it? Like, is it a tuna salad, a chicken salad? Maybe even a beef salad. I've seen beef salads before. Uh -oh. Pasta salad. Pretty good. Okay. Christina has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. There's a fire. Everybody evacuate the building. Steve has logged on. Chris, this is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. Why are you still here, though? I thought you'd gone. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on. Lionel has logged on. Lionel, the CEO. Telling everybody to evacuate. Security staff report in immediately. Visitor, security staff are dead. I found them lying dead in the control room. I saw a warning on this screen about a fire, so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them and lit the fire. Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, you're in the control room. You have to coordinate with us in escaping. You'll need one of the security codes. The code is RFTS. Is this some kind of game to you? Uh, I'll take a shot. Game that says, is this a game? Is this a game to you? Yeah. Security code confirmed. Security system online beginning scan floor basement three. It worked. Now, you may have a very difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. B3, uh, one casualty unavoidable. Candidate Troy Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor has to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. I'm not dying. Kill that asshole. I'm not dying for him. My job here is done. I'm ready to die. Fire's growing, visitor. You'll be led through how the system works. Hurry up. Urgent. Oh, man, that's getting crazy. The very good uh, jump right into the action moment right there. Orders immediately. So... Water will come from... Here, when the switch is placed on. But it also drowns people. Turn the switch to stop flowing. Fire cannot move through locked doors. You may only lock one. Next turn. 
Oh, that's the next turn. Okay. Arrows to move people, okay. Okay. So, next turn. Yeah. No one has to die, that's right. I wonder what the solution would be for no one to die. I think we'll figure it out slowly. But, um... Too many deaths. Simulation cancelled. Okay. Stop spreading when you turn off the switch. Okay. I bet there is a solution there, though. How can you talk like that when someone just died? You're all relieved and everything. He had it coming. He tried to kill us. He saved you. Not his best decision. Ha ha ha. You two know each other? Yep, me and Steve have the misfortune of working together for the past few years. Tell me about it. Chris, don't you wish you'd gotten to work in Troy's department instead? <sighs> Let's look for a way out. We're not all old like you. We can walk and type. Thank you very much. Hallway's main computer is complete. Main hallway's computer is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through. Same problem here. Found a staircase to the next floor. Same here. There's one here too. We'll, we'll all head up. All right, sure, why not? Okay, I'm heading up now. There we go, that should make the video experience better for everyone. Beginning scan floor B2. 
Our visitor's very quiet. What's your story? I don't work here. I was making a delivery. A delivery? Tires? Pop-up books? Stationery. Those were some strange guesses, though. What do you do here, exactly? Great question. What do we do here, Lionel? I know that you got that message, Lionel. Forget it. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what Phoenix Corp actually does. We buy random items. Toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk. And sell it all off for, the ne for next to no profit. It's a front. But it pays well. So we stay here. Well, Christina works here because no one else wants her, but that's different. How about you shut the fuck up? While I ask Lionel a, a serious question. I want to I want you to know about the cockatiels. Cockatiels. <laughs> oh, that story. For nearly a year, we'd get shipments of cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. <laughs> Whoa, that is weird. What's going on, Lionel? We were buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. That didn't even answer the question. <laughs> Has anyone found anything interesting on the second floor? No. Nothing much here. Most of the buildings reserved for storage. Uh, why don't you guys know your way around the building? Our access to the room is limited. On Lionel's request. Truth be told, I rarely visit myself. I know the facilities this building contains. Know very little about its layout. That's right, it's been in the notices for weeks that you were coming today. Was it something special? Uh, I was just dealing with some financial business. Nothing that could have encouraged arson. Calculations complete. Floor B2, one casualty unavoidable. Candidates Lionel and Steve. God damn it, not again. <laughs> Lionel or Steve is going to die. As the CEO of this corporation, I must request that you save me. Don't you dare. Please save Steve. I don't know why this fire started, but Lionel's responsible in some way. Steve's done nothing wrong. Great to hear you sticking up for me once, for me once, Chris, but your visitor saved me once. It's their choice what they do this time around. Visitor, my life is in your hands. Make the right decision. Save me. You will be well compensated. This isn't about money, you asshole. Shut up, both of you. It's getting fucking hot in here. It's up to the visitor. Oh, man. Oh, man, this is difficult. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Wait. Undo.
Fire is contained. Steve died. You won't regret the decision you've made. I'm sorry, I could only save one of them. Christina? I don't expect you to talk to me after what I've done. Are we going to get out of here with one of us not playing along? She's still trying to get out of here. She has a lot to deal with at the moment. Either way, I found the stairs. This is awful for you. I, I, I really am sorry. Don't beat yourself up about it. You did the right thing. Two casualties unavoidable. We're both going to die. We've reached our ends. No. Can't both die. There's no other option. Good. I'd rather die than live in a world with people like you two. Hey, I tried. Oh, I picked Lionel because I thought, okay, first time around, I've got to go with the greedy asshole route, you know? This guy's going to pay me a lot of money for saving his life. I mean, I mean, if one of them's got to die, you know? I don't know, it's a pretty, pretty hard decision, but I think I made the right one. Christina, Lionel, I'm so sorry I let you guys down. It's alright, there's nothing you could have done. He could have saved Steve instead of you. Now's not the time to squabble. Goodbye, both of you. Just because you're about to die doesn't mean you're a saint. I hope you both burn in hell. Please, Christina, don't waste your final moments like this. Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Jesus? <laughs> oh, man, could you imagine? You're about to be engulfed in flames, and you're texting someone, they're like, Do you know Jesus? It would be just like the, the scene at the end of God's Not Dead. <laughs> Just like it. Oh, man. Uh, enter security orders immediately. Chat system has been locked until decision is made. All right. We've done it. Bad end. The mystery is not yet solved. You must explore all possible possibilities to find the truth. Oh, man. You know what I should do, though? All right. So we're going to go here. So we're choosing between this guy and him. So what we got to do, actually... There we go. The fire has been contained. Casualties. Lionel. Good. Now, who's being insensitive? That was the head of our company, Chris. Chose him over me, visitor. Don't make me explain my choices. It makes me sick just thinking about what I had to do. I literally drowned him. How do you think I feel if I don't get a choice? What if I wanted to die? 
to save Lionel. As if you'd sacrifice yourself for anyone. And you would? No, but at least I'm upfront about it. I found a set of stairs I'm going to head up. I'm already on the next floor. I just didn't bother saying anything, anything about it. Great story. B1. Do you think we could get paid overtime for this crap? Barely matters. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. Maybe they said Troy set it on fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts. God, do you have any clue? Wait till we get out of here before you start making jokes about the dead. Hmm, I could be right for all you know. The guy was whack. Wouldn't make much take much to set him off. Just stop it, I mean. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. I forgot too. That's awful. What can you find out about them? I should search them. I really don't want to, though. Uh, good luck. You must have a stronger stomach than me. I'll go look now. Back. I found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Really? What does it say? It's the security code, the one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you surprised? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyways? What does he get out of it? I don't get it either. Why shoot two people in a building then set it on fire? Then try to play the hero. It makes no sense. Hmm. Why don't we ask him? Oh. Whoops. No, it's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris? <sighs> you can ignore it a lot. I wasn't that fussed on talking to her anyway. You two. Calculations complete. One casualty unavoidable. Christina or Steve? You're getting out of here. There's no way I'm letting you die. No, no, no. Kill me. Let me die. Oops. No, no backlog option, huh? Steve, no, you don't deserve to die. No one deserves to die. Especially not you. You're not going to ignore me now, are you? I just don't know what to say. How about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last time we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go. Do you think I want you to die? You don't understand. I'm sorry. We gotta do something now you'll both die. It's alright. It'll be like a barbecue. Shut up! You're not going to die, is he, Visitor? Our visitor knows what they're doing. They'll save you. Visitor, please promise me you'll save him. Promise me! Um... This one, I'm not sure about. That one's crazy. That one is also the first one I, I see a way someone could make it out. But yeah, he has to go to the Switch. He, he's the hero. Yeah. The fire has been contained. Steve is the casualty. She's going to say, no, I'm sorry. No, it's not fair. Why would you save me? I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Troy, Lionel, and Steve, they all died because of me. The security guards, too. This is all my fault. I lit the fire. 
No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what his deal is. Or was. I set the fire. I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. It really? It was Troy. If it was Troy, why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. Th this isn't how it was meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be empty. What was your motive? Why did you do it? I wanted to stop whatever was in this building from going on forever. You know, I, I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined anyone else's life, too. What did he do? They killed my mother. Him and this company. Jesus fucking Christ. My mother used to work at this company. That's the same name as me. She, she she said there were these experiments. Oh, God. I saved the crackhead. I saved the crackhead. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I know I know exactly where I've met this person. I, I met her out. <laughs> uh... That is pretty interesting. I, I bet it's clones. But the other thing, the way she's talking, I'm just thinking, oh man, there, there's that crazy lady out by the convenience store. And uh, man, that person talks to herself all the time. And then, like, she leaves. And if she sees you, like, you're weirded out by her. But all she says is, Jesus loves you. It's just so bizarre. I've seen so many bizarre things at that store. Because it's a gas station. Go get snacks in there. Um, But, yeah, it, it's so strange. Because it's like... uh. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like there was one day I went over there, and there was a person on the sidewalk near it, just on their knees, with their eyes wide open, staring at the ground, with their mouth agape. It, it was so bizarre. And then I go inside, and someone else. It's like a good eighty degrees outside. And this person in a jacket that's, like, really big and thick that covers his nose and everything talks to me as I'm leaving to go pump gas in my car. And, uh, I don't know what he said to me, but it was just all bizarre. But though she's one of those people. She's one of the gas station individuals. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, she said there were experiments. Well, one day, she went to work and never came back. We ordered a search, but no one could find her. It was a week before we got a call from Phoenix Corporation. They were sorry, but she had died in ex an experiment. Sorry, my ass. They wouldn't tell us what happened. And then when they sent her body back, they sent her body back with her brain cut out. Whoa, this is getting crazier than clones. This is getting crazier than clones. They cut out her brain to experiment on it. They killed her and took her brain. Christina, I'm so sorry. I couldn't let them get away with doing anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They, they knew who I was, but I think they gave me a job to shut up. Since then, I've spent God knows how long trying to find out why they did this to my mother. But I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read that Lionel was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But... I thought I had worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime. And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I, uh... 
I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I'll just keep moving through this building, and when I get out, I'll be arrested, and I'll finally get what I deserve. Uh, okay. I'm on the ground floor now. I still have no idea where I am. Most of the building is off limits. We take elevators down to our workspace on B3. Never see the rest of the building. Weird way to do things. It makes me think... It makes sense when you remember they're trying to hide the skeletons in their closet. Here's a blue file on a desk in here. It looks like the one you found on the security guard. Another one. What's the point of that? It has a different code. Maybe this would let you lock more fire doors at a time. But if I had it, I'd had that earlier. I don't even want to think about this. I'm going to keep moving. No fire detected. There's a big metal door I need to open. All right. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Big expo exposition dump for your first playthrough. Yep. Through now. Tempest entrance. What's that? No clue. There's a door here, though. It looks kind of strange. I'm going to... Go through. Let me know what you find. Disconnected. Signal lost. Oh, I, I bet... I bet his is... Insane. Uh, why would it drop now, Christina? I'm gonna find you disconnected. I've been disconnected. I, I like this already so much. Um, so, Vari and I, one, one of the things that happened is when we started talking over Discord, and this is before he met Nintendo 64, he introduced me to a bunch of Uchi Koshi games. I'd only played through Zero Escape. He introduced me to Infinity. And, uh,. This is Infinity, like, straight-up Infinity vibes. <laughs> so, this is great. This is the stuff, like, he dragged me into the Rokume, uh Discord server. It was great. So, <laughs> so this is exactly the vibe of... of of a game I'd be looking into, you know? Yep, I just gotta save him instead. Alright. You go that way. I'm locking the door. And then... <laughs> Next. All right. Christina was the casualty this time. Yeah, it just literally throw him in the locked closet. Oh my gosh, Sush. Do you know about the um the the Disneyland Star Wars theme park? Like the hotel experience? Because if you don't know, I have to show you. Let me make sure it's on live chat. <laughs> yeah! How, how, if there was a fire in the hotel, 
Do you know what they did? They did shut it down. Uh, right now, I believe they have yet to determine uh, what what they're going to do. All right, I have to show you. Here we go. We're going to turn this off. I gotta show you. I gotta show you. Uh, For example, if you're in your hotel room when a fire breaks out, the hotel doesn't have fire escapes, so you're meant to crouch in this little shame closet and press a panic button, then wait in the dark for help to arrive. My favorite animal. I, I think in general, my favorite animal would be a... um. What would I say? I, I'd say it's probably just cats in general. Like, I, I like cats a lot. But I think the coolest looking animal is probably a blue jay. Like, if I had to choose something that I wanted for looks, it would be a blue jay. Animal to be around, it's cat. So, uh, <laughs> oh no, does it make like an annoying sound? Does it go like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, sure, send it to me? Uh, Uh. Oh my gosh, it's a pile feather or a pill feather. But instead of being yellow and red, it's going to be it's going to be blue with a black beak. All right. We'll we'll show this off. Boop. There he is. There he is. I like it. I like it a lot. Force SDR on this. There we go. I like him. <laughs> it's gonna be me. Oh no. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go back to the game. We're gonna zoom in real close. Like I had it earlier. Oh, I I evolve into this. His entire personality is if you call him a chicken, he steals furniture in your home. Oh, that's great. Here, we'll show it off. This is what the yellow guy evolves into. Look at him. Look at him. He's great. He's perfect. He's perfect. <laughs> um, what should the third evolution do? Or, or is there only, um, is there a third evolution to him? I guess I should ask. Uh, 
<laughs> the the third evolution walks around and he's like you bring shame and dishonor to this area or whatever I don't know fourth evolution just has a fucking cigar in his mouth like Do you know what you have brought to this place? Do you know who you're talking to? <laughs> uh. They look great. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm scared of what's going to be said here. I'm... I'm so sorry that I saved your life. But it was the easiest way... To ensure nobody died. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. Oh, man. I had to make a decision. I, I don't expect you to be happy with what I've done. Just shut up. It's all a trick. This is a nightmare. You're still there, aren't you, Chris? If you're there, send me a message. You just ignore me again, right? Uh, Steve, I, I understand. It must be impossible for you right now. But you need to keep moving. And what the hell is the point of that? Christina died just for you. If you don't get out of here, she'll have died for nothing. Sure. I'm going to get out of here. And it's going to turn out this has all been some trick. Some sick joke. Chris will be waiting for me outside, alive. I mean, how do I even know it was Chris who was writing all these messages, right? All right, I'm heading up to ground level now. I can't wait to see her again. All right, just a little further. Oh, there's a desk with one of those blue files you were talking about on top of it. It's another security code. Another one, but what for? Uh, you can control more fire doors at a time. Not a lot of, not a lot of use now. Hmm. Steve, are you still there? Steve? I knew it. I told you. Told me what? She's alive. Chris is alive. What? What's going on? No fire detected. So, there's a file next to the one with the security code. When I saw it, I knew I had to read it. It was titled Phoenix Experiment. The one with the cockatiels. Let me explain. So I didn't get a lot of it, but here's what I understood. Phoenix Corp had an experiment planned where they were going to buy a lot of cockatiels and teach them to say a phrase. But every time they had enough birds for the experiment, they would randomly decide to increase their sample size. All in all, they brought around 6 million cockatiels and stopped buying them the day something weird happened. One of the cockatiels they bought already knew the phrase they were going to teach it. Weird. Weird. <laughs> weird that they bought 6 million cockatiels and were just killing them all. You know, that's odd. That's an odd number of cockatiels. <laughs> that's uh, pretty excessive, I think. Maybe whoever sold it to them knew what was going on and tried to mess with the experiment. Let me finish. So they tagged this special cockatiel that already knew the phrase and taught it. And it taught the other f the phrase to all the others. The experiment didn't end there. They ran each of them through a machine... They all died. All six million of them. Except the one they marked. I don't want to know what kind of machine it was. Uh, the paper talks very little about the machine itself. What it does say, I don't understand. Bizarre, but... How does this tell you Christina is alive? All right, so here's the thing. The phrase they were taught was Christina lives. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Steve, are you all right? 
I mean, that's what it says. You can see for yourself when I show Chris. Um, even if that's true, we still have no idea what that phrase means. What do you mean? Christina lives. It means she's alive. Uh, but we don't understand anything about the experiment. It could mean anything. Steve? Uh, I need you to keep in contact with me. S sorry, no time to type. I gotta find it my way out so I can find Chris. See you soon. No, 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 no. Keep talking. Steve, come on! Signal lost. Shit. Steve, what have you done? I'm coming to find you. Visitor has disconnected. Steve, end. All right. So we gotta go back up here to the beginning. All right, we're going to go from here. I think so. Very weird bug. <laughs> All right. Solved. The fire has been contained. Steve was the only casualty. Why did you save me? My thoughts exactly. Why did you leave Steve to die? I could only save one of them, and Troy knew the security code. He's the reason I could save anyone. We need to know what else he knows. Ah, now we're thinking. I'm not going to do anything to save anyone from here on in. How did you know the security code? Check the bodies of the guards. Better not be a trick. Just do it. Fine. Explains that. One of the guards was holding a blue file with the security code. Same one Troy told us. Really? A blue file? Those contain security codes. Each one allows you to lock another fire door. I found the code when I killed him. I thought I'd give you a fighting chance, so I told you the code. You're welcome. Why'd you do this? Instead of asking me these questions, why don't you look for a way out? The main room's completely blocked by rubble, that's why. There should be a staircase in a room near both of you. Hmm, you're right. I'm heading up right now. Yeah, it, it's like great. I, I mean, it depends on what you're dealing with, I guess. Like, like, let's say you're dealing with some horrible abomination that's going to cause problems if you don't stop it. I guess you'd start a fire and lock some of the doors. <laughs> Just not all of them. You know? Alright, they're all headed up. And while we're here, Lionel, could you tell me what the hell this company is set up to do? Don't waste your breath. Toots, he's not going to tell you anything. Okay, well, why don't you explain it? There's nothing to explain. That's a lie and you know it. You both work here. Shouldn't you know what the company does? You think the company buys and sells things in bulk? You'd think. The company buys and sell thing, sells things in bulk. But there's something dark going on underneath all that. Like what? Man. This whole game. Let me get to the end of this. Scanning floor B2. 
candidates Christina Troy. Huh? Don't worry, just yet. Then why would you say anything? Christina, that's a nice name. Your mother is correct. What? How did you know that? Answer me. Tell me right now. God damn it. Calculations complete. Floor B2. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates. Christina. Troy. How could you know that? How could you know the code? How could you know that one of us is going to die? I told you. I lit the fire. I'm behind all this. I know everything. No, that answer is not good enough. Can we do this later? There is no later. Tell me now. I'm not telling anyone. I'm not telling anyone anything. Just let me die. Urgent. Enter system orders immediately. Chat system locked until decision is made. All right. Troy, Troy wants to go, he can go. There we go. Done. All right. No one has to die. That's for later. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Here it is. All right. Walk that off for just a second. So this whole thing, just doing the voices for all of this, it reminded me of something I saw today. So I found the source of the voices all of these people are using for their uh, YouTube shorts and TikToks. It's Eleven Labs. Have you ever heard have you ever heard heard of this?
Like you'll have you'll recognize the voice is what I'm trying to say. Top ten guy at band band pick up lines to riz up all of the band babes. <laughs> I found it and it bothers me so much. But um Yeah. I I hope it's like This voice is used so much that everyone knows it's fake and AI. <laughs> it's so bizarre, but they have a bunch of other ones. Um... This voice is used so much that everyone knows it's fake and AI. Yeah, let's go with this one. This voice is used so much. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. It's crazy. This voice is used so much that everyone knows it's fake and AI. It's so insane listening to that. But I found it earlier because I was trying to figure out uh, what other people use as like an AI voice thing. And finding the 11 Labs saying there's something even scarier, which is they have uh, voice dubbing. Voice cloning, I should say. Which means, and this is a scary part, I can clone any voice that I want to. Now, they might have some wording in their terms of service about not doing that. But I could totally see people using Eleven Labs to voice a game like this now that it's a thing. Because it costs, you know, it costs $20 a month maybe and you can buy more time and you can buy more audio from it you could talk in any voice you wanted yeah uh a lot of it is so weird um that that is one thing um something you could look into maybe I don't know. There is software that does speech to text to speak. But I don't know if it reads lips. <laughs> People aren't ready for the first mute podcaster. <laughs> Oh man, that would be so much fun. <laughs> uh... No, I actually, I actually have like a scary thing in, in a book I'm writing, which is uh, th there's a character that can't talk, uh, because like the organs you would need for it are, are physically removed from him early on. He's like a science experiment. But it's in a universe where people have telepathy. So he's stuck in this weird position where um, <laughs> invite homeless people every episode and let them rant for three hours. <laughs> I just look worried. That's my gimmick. <laughs> That's a great gimmick. But anyways, um... I've set the story in the future where basically if you have any disability at all, it should be easily fixable. And so most people, like if they're born deaf or blind or anything like that, you can fix it. But because this guy like had all of his throat ripped out that he would need to like make noise... He can't do anything about it. And people are like, oh, he, he got a voice box or something. He can totally... I don't know. The whole point is, he has telepathy and he talks to people and it bothers them because they can't turn him off. They can't make him shut up. <laughs> He's in their head. And, and I like the idea that people don't know what it is yet. 
so I don't know. It's really weird because you start talking about like your plan for something. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, there's so many plot holes in what I've done. How do I get rid of the plot hole? Uh, well, I should say the reason they're scared is because it's like a voice in their head and they don't know where it's coming from. So, they don't even know that telepathy is a real thing. So, the story is just a girl. I have a lot of plot holes. It's not even funny. I have these great set pieces that are not linked together at all. So, the story is just a girl walking around a bunch of random, or a bunch of random nonsense happens. Uh, and she looks surprised and then leaves. I just reinvented Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> well, well, Sush, think about it like this, okay? Dreamcatcher. And a lot of your other games, they're all about dreams. Let me tell you about a dream I've had several times now. I've had a dream several times now. And the entire dream is like a video game. So I enter a building and the entire interior looks like the basement area of my office building that I'll walk around in sometimes to go get mail. And I know that there are security guards pacing back and forth. And if they catch me, they'll stop me. And then I get onto the elevator. I'm immediately transported to this restaurant looking area that has computers everywhere. So it's set up like a restaurant I go to frequently where I live. And the door to my office is blocked off by a shelf of some sort that I have to move. And as I move the shelf, people are talking about a meeting or talking to HR. It depends on whether or not they've seen me. So if they haven't seen me, they're talking about a meeting that everyone has to go to in like whatever time. And if they have seen me, they, they start saying how they're going to call HR. And if I get into my office, I'm immediately transported to a park. And, and after the park starts, I wake up. And, and I usually, like, the dream restarts, like, three times before I get to the park. And then by the time I get to the park, whatever's going on doesn't even matter because I'm waking up. I've had this dream four times now. Now, granted... Alcohol was involved all four times, so I have no clue. <laughs> I also played a weird game before I went to bed. <laughs> all four times. They were all after streams. So that's weird. But it's all dream logic. It doesn't have to make sense. Nothing made sense about it, but that's the story of, of the dream that I've had 12 times. But uh, anyways. Um... What was the thing? I might. Oh. Don't even dream, huh? I don't know. Dreams are very weird, too, because what if you do dream? <laughs> you just don't remember them. <laughs> it's, you know? Like, you have no memory of ever dreaming. I don't know. That could be the case. 
the other weird thing is like people have all these uh, ideas about lucid dreaming. A dream about forgetting, and it was the one dream you had left last year. That is that is pretty ironic. Let's see. But yeah, um I don't know. The, so my my thinking process is though uh just from the uh whole i don't know the whole 11 labs thing antimimetic worms <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I don't know. After talking about the 11 labs thing, there, there is, uh, one person you might consider direct messaging or, or, or something. Um, they're, they're called Mother V3, and I know they use a te text-to-speech, uh, they use text-to-speech to talk all the time, so you might be able to ask them about what, what software they use, uh, their, their voice is like more, more of a generic computer voice, you know, like closer to what you'd expect uh, a computer voice to sound like. Let me pull up a thing. This is going to be bad. kid if you stop calling me a turkey sandwich i hear your real voice on my end you literally sound like this whenever you talk so so yeah she's the, like the synthetic sounding voice um that's what she uses but i don't know what the software is so yeah i i'd, I'd be interested uh I don't know. I'm interested in so much of this stuff because it's going to be so weird now that I think about it more and more. Imagine Japanese people that have seen what localizers have done to their to their stuff in the past. They they just get the voice actors for their manga, not their manga, but their visual novel, their anime. They get those voice actors and then what they do is is they just record that voice, send it to uh, what was it? They they send it to this Eleven Labs company, and that voice becomes the English voice as well. That that's gonna be insane. I I can only imagine. Anyways, back to the game. I guess he finally got what he wanted. Good. He was a maniac. He's cost my company millions. He killed four people. It'll be six if you don't get out of here soon. All right, I found the stairs. Me too. B1. I didn't mean to be so callous before. It's just severely impacting our operations. Don't you think 
that might have been the point. What do you mean by that? He wanted to stop Phoenix from doing whatever it is you do. Makes sense. No, no. Our business here is strictly confidential. Does that sound like a slip of a tongue to you, visitor? Two casualties unavoidable. Both of them. Neither of us is going to live. Oh, no. I guess that's the fairest, isn't it? Why would we deserve to live when Steve and Troy had to die? Troy was a murderer. What about Steve? Well, either way, goodbye. 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 Urgent. Please enter your orders immediately. Your chat system is locked. Can I... Uh, oh, I can't lock any extras. I can't. Ah, it's so sad. I got a bad ending again. So sad. That end. So this time, I gotta sacrifice Christina. And Lionel and, and Troy will fight over who lives and who dies. Alright. We've won. We're victorious. But at what cost? At what cost, everyone? Not again! You don't look happy for someone who's lucky to be alive. Visitor, tell me! What would it take to get you to kill me? I can't do something like that. You're mad! I've killed all these people! Of course I'm goddamn mad! We won. You're gonna have to choose between saving me and Lionel soon. Promise you'll save Lionel. Wh wh why would you know that? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I'm a monster and I don't deserve to live. Uh, of course it matters. It does matter. I want you to know. Tell me. I want to know. Tell me why you did this. There, there's uh, not enough time. Besides, you won't believe me. You won't believe me until it's too late. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Beep beep. Oh, one casualty avoidable. Unavoidable. Oh, oh just save Lionel. Spare me. I don't know what's going on. If you, if I give you answers, you let me die. Will you let me die? Troy, tell me then you can die. Truth is, I've been here before. Urgent. Da 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 da. All right. <laughs> Uh, I did it. I solved the problem. All right. Oh. So, I'm really thinking about this. I'm going to save Lionel first because I I think that's going to be um less of an expo dump. Oops. Cuz I think Troy is going to have a lot of interesting things to say after this. Wrong. Oh no. I, I feel shammed. I'm thinking Troy is going to have a lot interesting to say. Ah, uh, excellent. You have made the right decision. 
Uh, I don't know if that's the right decision. Now, you made a promise? Deal's a deal. What do you want to know? I want to know what Christina was talking about. What's going on in this company? Christina herself has no idea what we do here. She was right about one thing, though. Here at Phoenix Corporation, we buy and sell large, large stocks of cheap products just to keep the books looking busy. It's a front. Our true interest in here is time travel. Whoa! Time travel? Indeed. That's what I said. You expect me to believe that? I don't care what you believe. You ask for the truth, and here it is. Now, if you'll let me continue, we in fact have a fully functional time machine on this facility. But the machine doesn't quite work like the ones you might see in the movies. As in, it does nothing because time travel isn't real. If you're not going to listen, I don't see why you bothered saving me. No. Our time travel doesn't affect physical objects. That doesn't sound very useful. What can it do? It carries a person's consciousness through time. Oh my gosh. Sush. After this. You know what? After this. I'm gonna I'm gonna totally start a new stream and we're just gonna finish We're gonna finish 999 because I started that earlier. We're just gonna finish that game. It's not just Steins Gate. It, it it's it, it's Steins Gate, Zero Escape, and Infinity. Oh yeah, true. I have to go to bed too. <laughs> <laughs> their thoughts, their personalities, their likes, dislikes, their experiences, and their memory. Our machine can carry those things through time. I... I don't believe a word of this. Your loss. So, what if I was to hop in this time machine, go an hour into the future, what would actually happen? You'd leave your body and effectively die die at first then after an hour your consciousness would re-enter your body and you would come back to life not even realizing an hour had passed I don't think that's possible we've done it birds dogs people anything with a brain can travel in our machine what use is that though would your body decompose if you went forward more than a few hours? No, that's... It's true, but, you know... Preserving the body allows the conscious to enter it later. But that's not where our true interest lies. If a person travels forward in time, they can visit, visit, visit distant eras and the like. They can still only live for the 80 years their body dictates. But if one was to travel backwards... You can go back to when you're younger. Exactly. You would retain your memories and experiences gained over time, but have a younger body. Unless they were in an accident and died instantly, they could live forever. Whoa, whoa! Yes, yeah, so with our machine, no one has to die. That would be huge, but does it work? We believe so. What's that supposed to mean? Our tests, traveling forward, have gone exactly f to plan. However, our, however, our tests didn't quite work so well going backwards. What happened? Our human test subject entered the machine. We activated it. Her consciousness left her body and... It never came back. She died. That's terrible. What went wrong? We, deded we dedicated every resource 
into discovering the cause of this problem. You haven't worked it out. We think the machine may have worked. How can you say that when someone died? Incredibly complicated concept. I'll explain it to you. First, though, you have to do something for me. I have entered the code to unlock access to the rooms on the ground floor. I'm in the Tempest room. Come meet me here. Can't you tell me now? Signal lost. Lionel, where'd you go? I have no choice now. I have to find you. Visitor disconnected. Lionel and... Not yet solved. We must explore all possibilities to find the truth. Okay. There we go. Next end. So this is how it goes. I don't know how much longer I can do this. What are you talking about? What were you saying before chat cut out? And while we're at it, how do you know everything? And why did you light the fire? There's nothing I can do now. I may as well tell you what I know. First things first. I lit the fire. I didn't light the fire. I don't know who really did it. I know who killed the I don't know who killed the security guards either. I have no idea what they do here at this company. How do you know the security code? Uh I know you're not going to believe this. I need the security code because I heard you read it out. That makes no sense. You told me before I you told it to me before I ever read it. This time I did. What do you mean this time? I've been here before. I've been here like five times before. The first time I was in the office doing my work, when suddenly the fire alarms went off, I went to the chat to find what was happening, and Lionel explained you need the security code to save anyone. I scrambled, looked, looking for a blue file before you finally found one. That's when I found the code. Then you had to make decisions. Steve died, Christina died, Lionel died. I was the only one left. I had to keep going. I found a room called the Tempest Entrance. I went inside. It's bright light. You won't believe this. I went back in time, right before the fire. I was sitting in my office. I don't know how, but I traveled through time. I was glad to hear you all alive, but none of you remember what happened. You all thought I was insane. But just like this time, because I knew the code, you, you thought I could save everyone. So once again, Steve died, Christina died, then Lionel. I got to the end, back to the Tempest entrance, and it happened again, and again, and again, and again. Five times it's happened. It's a lot to take in. I'm not sure I believe you. If it's true, why did you say you were the arsonist? Because I just want to die. Five times now I've watched them all die so I can live. And for what? So I can go back and watch them die again? I wanted you to think I was evil. Who would save a murderer over an innocent life? Me, apparently. None of my plans have worked. I'm just so tired. So what now? I've checked everywhere. All the doors are locked, just like last time. I have no choice. I have to go back to the start. Wait, you don't have to. The fire's contained now. If you just wait there, someone will come find you. I can't let the loop end. I can't let the loop end until someone else survives. I've been through too much. I'm ready to die. Whoever makes it out of the building... I would want to live. If you go back, what happens to me? What happens to this world once you go? 
I have no idea. There are now five worlds out there in space or time or wherever. Everyone's dead. But like that, I guess you're right. Was that possible? My guess is as good as yours. I'm outside the Tempest interest now. This is it. I guess so. I'll see you soon. Just you won't see me. Can't wrap my head around this at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. Seeing a loss. Visitor disconnected. Troy end. All oh, right. I've got all the endings. The end is near. The final timeline has appeared. Dun dun dun. All right. It's time to get cereal. The final timeline. All right. I'm going to I'm going to take this more seriously. I'm going to I'm going to try and, and not stumble on my words or anything like that. Urgent. The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA. Three hours, 17 minutes. Visitor has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation communications network. Lionel, what the hell is going on in there? I went into the Tempest room like you told me to, and now I'm back here in the control room. Wait. Christina has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. What? How did I end up here? Steve has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation's communica Communications Network. Chris, you're alive! I knew you were alive! Steve? I thought you were dead. Me? Troy has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation's communications network. You guys, you remember? You finally remember! Troy, this is all just some part of some trick of yours, isn't it? No, I, I have no idea what's going on. You think I'm going to believe that after you lit this fire? I didn't light the fire. You don't just get to change your story now. Steve, he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Why not? It's logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Amazing. I knew this would happen sometime, somewhere, but I never thought I'd be the one to witness it. You know what's going on here? Yes, but for now, there are more pressing matters. Does anyone have one of the security codes? I already told you mine. It's RFTS. Anyone find any new ones? I found the blue file that said IRHH. I found one that said SOEE. -E. Perfect, visitor. I confess that just before I cut out last time we spoke, I found a file containing the code EMAS. Now quickly, enter all the codes. All right, all right. Security code confirmed. We're we're gonna we're we're gonna solve this problem. Uh, thanks, Sush, for for getting those all in. I couldn't have done it. I I would have forgotten those immediately. And there's no scroll feature on the website. <laughs> Full access. Lock four doors at a time instead of just one. What the hell is going on? Tell us what's going on here. Why is everyone alive again? There's no way I would have enough time now to explain. No casualties expected on floor B3. No one has to die. Yes, we have the security codes. We're all safe. Let's get out of here then. Oh my gosh. Rise from the ashes. 
Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Rise from the ashes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's get out of here. Urchin, set some orders immediately. All right. No. All right, we've done it. We've done it. We prevented the fire. <laughs> We're all still alive. You are all an explanation. How is everyone alive again? How did I end up back here? I was here when the fire started. Why are these rooms fire damaged anymore? B2. Visitor, do, do you remember what I told you before? Yeah, you invented a time machine. Impossible. Well, it's a bit different to a time machine, I guess. It carries your thoughts and memories through time instead of your body. Correct so far. It works going forward, but going backwards... Calculations are complete. Going backwards, you killed somebody. They never returned to their body. Fire on floor B2, no casualties. That is the story as I told it. The person you murdered was my mother. Your mother died of a brain tumor. You told me so. That was a lie. Lionel killed my mother to test some impossible time travel bullshit. So I lit the fire. I lit the fire here to kill Lionel and wreck his corporation before they ruined any more lives. Chris, I don't believe it. I suspected as much. Christina, your mother is not dead. What do you mean by that? I've seen her body. You took her brain. Urgent. Inter-system orders immediately. The chat system has been locked until your decision is made. fire has been contained. Lionel answers. Your mother is not dead. It's going to be hard to explain. She went back in time and never returned to her body. However, there's not a single fault in our logic. The machine was designed perfectly. The Tempest machine, right? Correct. Anyway, we conducted very many experiments. It eventually came to a fascinating conclusion. When our subject had traveled forward in time... The future was not set, so time would bend to accommodate our time traveler. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. But when traveling backwards, things were not so simple. Be one. The consciousness would become lost in the mess that is time and space. It would find a host one which owned the consciousness and one which existed at the time it had been sent back to. But would not always find its host in its own universe. You've lost me. Our research would suggest that there are infinite amounts of universes, each nearly identical with minute differences between them. So when Christina's mother traveled backwards through time, she was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe more, traveled too. They landed into different timelines. Some landed in their correct timeline. The others would override the other. In some, no one would ever know that Christina's mother had even left or that the consciousness had returned to her body wasn't or the consciousness that returned to her body wasn't from their universe on a few rare occasions they would land back where they began in their own universe many timelines were left like here in this universe where her mother left this world but none came back to fill her body because of this the body remained empty she was effectively dead where the consciousness lives in another time, another universe. I'm not buying a word of this. 
No casualties expected on floor B1. It explains everything. Why everything keep, kept happening over and over while I was here. Yes, it took me a while to figure out. But we've all been brought here by the Tempest Machine. Visitor, can you remember a time in which you let any everyone die apart from your, myself? Correct. You gave me access to the Tempest Room. Well, each of these people remembers a different reality. One where they were the sole survivor. That's right. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris died. I had to wait and watch all of you die time and time again. At the end of each of these realities, the survivor entered the Tempest Machine, which had its clock set to the beginning of this disaster as a security measure. As we entered the machine, we were randomly shot into another universe. Some of us would have ended up back where we started, and no one else would remember what had taken place. But there will be few universes like this, where by chance, all of us came from five different universes into one. And that's how we're all together now, with memories of different futures. Whoa. But the chance of that happening would be practically zero. Actually, with as many universes as there are, it was incredibly likely there are probably going to be hundreds of universes in which the same thing that has happened is happening here. This doesn't seem incredibly likely. It is such a bad security system. <laughs> Just, oh yeah, it's just eventually going to send you back in time to the right timeline where everyone lives. Congratulations. It's like a fire exit. You need four passcodes, a time machine that goes to the exact start of the fire instead of before. This is this is Zero Escape and Infinity and Steinscape. You have the time machine from Steinscape. You have the consciousness nonsense from Infinity. And... You have the the other consciousness nonsense from uh, Zero Escape. It, it's all coming together. This is the truth. Enter orders immediately. Decision must be made. Uh... All right. We're good. Everyone's good. The fire has been contained. Hey guys, all of our pads meet up here, right? They do. I suppose they must. Ground floor scan. Be able to talk in person. No fire detected. I want to see you again, Chris. I'm so glad you're safe. I can't wait to see you, Steve. I can't believe you're still alive. We're both alive. I'm already there. Coming through. I see you now. I'm in. Me too. Has anyone unlocked the door for me so I can come down too? Hello? Anyone, uh, typical. What do I do now? Visitor? Can someone open the door for me? I don't think I'll have the chance to. What's wrong? I'm at the Tempest entrance. I haven't been up front with all of you. I've been here before. Oh no. No. I've been here before. A timeline where we all managed to survive. Except things went a little differently that time. For instance, I asked Lionel where the controls with the Tempest Machine were. He told me they were on B2. In my section of the building. <laughs> oh no! Uh, late, later he explained that I can't send consciousness back before the first time it was turned on. Just when my mother was sent back through time. So I messed with things and I hopped back in the machine. Oh my gosh. I... 
going back three years to find her mother. And then... I'll break into here. I'll travel again. Uh, if... Oh my gosh. You should know better than anyone what it feels like. You've had to choose a person's happiness over another's time and time again. In the timeline you came from, you even chose to kill me. I wish I could save Steve and my mother both at once, but I don't have a choice. I have spent too long wishing she was with me to turn back. <laughs> I, I, I feel bad. The music is that actually works here, but it's just like the kind of track that's been used so much. <laughs> I, I've spent too long wishing she was with me to turn back now. Besides, in this world, I'm a murderer, an arsonist. There's no safe place for me here. Christina, you're not going to stop me, are you? No, I'm not. Tell Steve I'm sorry and that I love him. Tell him that I hope we meet again somewhere, sometime. But for now, goodbye. Goodbye. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. I I'm serious. Um, this game could be made into, like, such an amazing work of art if you got, like, a bunch of theater kids to act it out badly. I, I could just imagine, like, a theater play uh, where, where like, a bunch of kids read, read the lines really poorly like they do in, like, skits and stuff. I'm, I'm just imagining it in my head. At the same time, this is, like, perfect for me to make a video on. Sush, I'm gonna make you- I'm gonna- I'm gonna make a good video about this game. I'm gonna- I'm gonna explain why it's, like, a lost Newgrounds gem. <laughs> uh. The end. Or is it? Oh, that is the end. It was really good. <laughs>